one of the reasons that we're advocating an integrated transport agency, one of the reasons more generally across infrastructure we've argued for a body called Infrastructure New South Wales, is to take the politics out to ensure the projects that are announced are the projects that this city and state needs and that once announced the public have confidence that they'll be delivered on time and on budget. We've now got a new commitment from a new Labor Premier for another commitment to the North West Metro but one that won't start until two parliaments away. That's why Labor can't be believed when it comes to public transport. Late last year, Christina Keneally and David Campbell, along with Nathan Rees, signed off on this huge document called the Transport Blueprint. A couple of weeks down the track and they've done a complete backflip on that document. This is a Labor government that has made over 90 promises in relation to major projects in the last 15 years and has not been able to deliver one single project. Now look, I'm here looking for a rail ticket to Rouse Hill. That was the rail line that in 1998 Labor promised would be built by 2010. Unfortunately, this ticket machine, a ticket machine that's also not the T-card that Labor promised to deliver by the year 2000, they can't get me that ticket because the project and the promise were dumped. But what New South Wales doesn't need is another election plan. What New South Wales needs is an integrated transport plan as promised by the New South Wales Liberals and Nationals that seeks to meet Sydney and the state's transport uh, needs going forward but does so in a way that the public can be confident that the projects that have been chosen are the projects that are required, the projects that are announced are the projects that will be delivered on time and on budget.